So you've built your views, what's next? In this video, we're gonna cover getting started on your step-by-step -step guide flow. Step-by-step -step guides run the same way other contact do on Amazon Connect through contact flows. They are configured within a contact flow by using the show view block. When the inbound customer contact connects with the agent, your step-by-step -step guide flow will then initiate. You can use a variety of flow blocks in this experience, but the block that will bring your view to life is the show view block. The show view block determines what view to render in the agent's UI. When you open up the show view block, you can use a dropdown to select either the custom views you've built using the no code UI builder, or you can start with an AWS managed view. Once you select a view, you'll be prompted to pass in any dynamic values and map data to different fields inside of your view, such as content and customer information. Lastly, don't forget to configure your timeout. You'll want to configure a timeout that gives your agents enough time to take any action if required. Keep in mind that once the block reaches your timeout threshold, if no action has been taken by the agent, it will branch off to the next block. Your agent may input information or select an action, and this information is important for you to reference within flows to help drive the experience you're trying to create. The output data from a form or action taken by the agent can be accessed in flows using the following JSON path. Dollar sign, period, views, period, view result data. In conjunction with this block in the contact flow, you can use other flow blocks you may be familiar with to create branching decision trees or even send and receive data from external systems. Once you finish building your step-by-step -step guide flow, you can save and publish your contact flow as you normally would.